go. Crash and flow. Like crazy person, man. <laughs> My, my sister still remembers at my Nika, you came to her and you were like, what is this material? Can I touch it? <laughs> and she was like, sure. <laughs> yes. But to you, like, it was like. It was very special material. like velvet or something. Yeah, never seen it before. You know what it looked like? Mm -hmm. It looked like back in the day, you know, the Sean John, um, the Sean John uh, track suits. Oh man, yeah, those were like velour or yeah, something. That's what it was, but it was in a dress form. It was, uh, it was captivating. I lost that's myself true. for a moment. <laughs> that's Sean John Fubu material, right? She probably feels the way how uh, black people feel when they're when white people come up to them and say, "Can I touch your hair?" It's like this is not I wonder, necessary. I wonder if that happens anymore. It must happen every of now. Of course and then. It, it. Of course it still happens. Yeah. Right, because it's so uniquely different. Man, you haven't even seen black people here. I think I've seen black people here. You've, have you ever seen a beehive? Uh, yeah, in a 1970s movie. I'm saying, like, when I grew up, mm -hmm. that was a standard. There were six girls in your class with a beehive. Okay, okay. So, like, right now, there's stuff happening in the South that you have no idea happens. Like structures. Mm -hmm. There's a, all sorts of things. Yeah. yeah, you like Legos? Dude, you lose your mind. You'd be like, how? How does it hold... By itself. And she's like, it holds me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm assuming an afro just like kind of lifts you up a little no, bit. Afro, you got to work on. You got to yeah. pick that thing out like all day. How do they get it so round? Mm. <laughs> right? I don't know. It, 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 here's the thing. I think like, you know, that Talib Kweli song with like my program, uh, like, uh, um, what is it called? Uh, Black, it's that song by, um, the, the title is called Black Skin Lady. Um, my, I've been conditioned. Even my conditioning has been conditioned, right? And so essentially being like, you know, you, you find like white people more attractive than black people because of like yeah. um, colonialism or whatever. Uh, Did you see Tyler? I've never, yeah. I've, never looked at, I've never looked at an Afro and said, that does not look professional. I don't know why there's such a thing where like mm -hmm. everyone's like, this, this type of hair is not professional or mm -hmm. like braided hair. Is, I've, it's never, there's plenty of like, questionable thoughts that have crossed my head and i had to like grow and evolve mm -hmm. but i've never looked at an afro or like uh braided hair and think not professional that's yeah. just someone's hair it's just i know i don't know what know? to tell you but also like that stuff's been around since the 60s for us right you know that's true yeah that's true probably around even before then mm. deep we're talking about hair I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we're talking about hair. So we haven't done the after review of Smooth My Balls. Dude, talk to me about your balls, Yasin. Okay. De Sareth, um, Mrs. Saga. Enter the sponsor uh, 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 of the podcast. Go to our website, crashandflow.com. On the top right-hand side, you will, say, you will see a tab that says save 20%. You click on that, and then you can order your very own personal uh, your, grooming. Your very own... Maybe you've got some complaints, yeah. right? Maybe you're like, hey, I'm a wife mm -hmm. or something close to that, inshallah, very soon, all right? right you know? Right, right. And uh, you're like, somebody needs some hedging. Yes, exactly. Or you might not even know because, like, some of these people don't already have this conversation before, mm -hmm. right? Before you get married, you can't just be like, how do you like things? Do you like it trimmed or not? You don't know, mm -hmm. right? And it's kind of hard to bring it up. But what you can do is buy this for your, for your future spouse. Yep. And then they will get the hint. Yeah. You know? Father's Day, dude. If you want to... Actually, you want to know what? Mother's Day. Right? You want to do your mother a favor. You've seen your dad's back? Can you imagine what has been like that? <laughs> Can you extrapolate? You know his back's been at least trimmed twice in his life. Yeah. Down there, probably never. Mm. Right? Right. So it's Probably down to his knees. You ever seen anything <laughs> above his knee? No. So do your mom a favor. Mm -hmm. Buy that smooth... My balls. Buy that smooth 2.0, at least, right? It's, it's a, I think it's 3.0. Is it 3.0? 3.0 now. Three, three iterations. Three iterations. I don't iterations. even know if they had previous iterations. I don't care. I'm just trying to, we're just trying to make that 20%. Anyway, um, so here's what you got, uh, here's what you got to know. Uh, it doesn't bite. Mm -mm. It doesn't pull. It doesn't tug. It does the job correctly. Mm -hmm. And uh, even in around the areas where you might be really nervous, mm. super nervous. Yep. Belly it, button. It did well. Right? It did well. Yeah. It did well. Uh, so, yeah, good clean. And then uh, you don't get that, uh, you know, you get like that post-shave itchiness. Prickliness? 
itchiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Where you, uh, yeah, so you won't get it this time. Really? Super comfortable. Wait, you ever put lotion on afterwards? How, what do you mean? How do you not get like prickly and itchy afterwards? Because you're using the trimmer as opposed to a razor. The mm. razor, the, the razor creates like the circumstances for which you'll get that burn. Dude. However, with a trimmer, you will not. Right, it's the same thing, right? Um, they they recommend for so that's why like trimmers and t uh, like t head trimmers and very very close balding trimmers are um, recommended for black people because they get they're prone to ingrown hairs. Damn, I don't know how you know this stuff. You've been hanging out at the barber shop. I, I watch so many Smooth for me to, my balls. <laughs> for me to lie, line up my 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 beard, I watch a lot of <laughs> beard videos. <laughs> and when I watch a lot of beard videos, I normally just watch. Uh, black barbers because uh, Guys, they, they're they're pretty talented. as meticulous as he is about his beard i can't even imagine <laughs> this is a sponsorship made in heaven yeah it really very much is so yeah it seems like i wish people could know how well i do this <laughs> you know it's it's pretty nice it's pretty nice uh so highly recommended definitely go check that out i know like we're just uh we just taking a little pause in the middle of a regular podcast but there it is it's good it works i tried it uh, also, it's waterproof. I didn't. I didn't test it. To be honest with you, I didn't test the waterproofness. Next of it. week, Yasin to Sarah in a pool. Yeah, just, just, you know. How much hair can you grow in a week? Uh, not as much as you. What does that supposed to mean, <laughs> you asshole? Who have you been talking to? No one actually. Okay. I just, uh, yeah, yeah. I've seen. I've seen you shave in the morning and then in the evening. I'm like, oh, yeah, did you even shave? I, I don't know. <laughs> Did you I shave yesterday? I don't even know uh, what genes activate my facial hair. What is that? You need to be able, you need to turn that into some sort of renewable energy. I, you know what? I was thinking that right now. <laughs> I was like, how do I mon- 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 monetize Monetize, this? yes, indeed. How do I monetize? Do, how, I, at least can I grow it, give it a charity? Okay, you can definitely do that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because there's plenty of people right now, because beards are in. Beards are in. Right? And you got dudes, mm-hmm. fools, dudes, um, that are taking hair out of the back of their head. Idiots. And then they're putting it onto their beard, their face. Right. Right? When their mustache doesn't connect, yeah. they're like, nah, man, I'm going to make it connect. Yo, head hair is not face hair. No, but okay. they don't care. You be a man and then... you lose some eyebrows, all right? You grow up and you is, do is, that. Is, is air... No, eyebrows is not the same as beard either. All right, eyelashes. No, you know what it is? You should get pubes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine just a patch on the right? Just, just a one inch by one inch area that's just like... <laughs> <laughs> just unruly just right. unruly doesn't doesn't grow it's in like the direction of the beard at all it's just like a bad patch <laughs> on your face that you gotta mow around you know when you get in there you need to you need to take titanium blades for you to go through that stuff mm. you gotta vibrate shit quattro mm. plus that's too much man yeah that's too much no one needs that many blades dude okay here's the thing we had to shave my son's head okay and we couldn't get a barber it was uh, pandemic yeah three months ago yeah so I'm at my in-laws and they're like, let's do it right now. I'm like, you know what? No, I'm doing this. Yeah, for sure. And they came out with a shit quattro, mm-hmm. right? Why would you do that to a baby? With a brand new blade though. Still right? not. <laughs> I mean, we've come very far. Yeah. And then a, also a trimmer. Okay. Not a smooth my balls, mind you, mm-hmm. but a, still a, probably like a good trimmer. Yeah. So we, we trim his head. Mm-hmm. We shit cat truck. Like I didn't put the vibrator on. But yeah, yeah perfect. It, yeah, it's that's cool. That's cool. Yep, edgy. Like yeah. it was scary the whole time. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, like you, you know, you're using a blade, and also, you know, your boy, your 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 boy's skin is supple. It's soft, right? It's, it's su- scary. It's, it's like super. A- it's not. You know what? As a photographer, mm-hmm. I used to. I don't like taking pic. I don't like engaging and taking pictures of kids mm-hmm. because when you do that, then they keep coming up to you and ask you to take pictures, right? Right. And I'm not about that. I'm here for bride and groom. Right. Uh, and really, now you have a kid that's following you the entire time, and then you have to be nice to him. Right, right. Right. So you have to be like, ha ha. And then they like look at you, and then you have to take pictures. It's very right. annoying. Yeah. That being said, though, mm-hmm. some sometimes, you know, I got to like do a little bit of cleanup on skin. Mm-hmm. Right. Bride skin needs to be cleaned up. A zit on the on the on the dude's face that needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. Now it's like three hundred pictures. I got to do the same thing over Children, and over again. Flawless. Flawless. Porcelain. Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah. It's like just. It's amazing to see what age does to skin because when it's young, it's freaking beautiful. I've noticed, man. I look at his skin, I'm like, wow, this is perfect. He hasn't been outside. Yeah, it's just it's right out of the factory, man. Dude, right off of the assembly line. Yep. Yeah. And you know what's interesting is uh, he'll scratch himself. Mm-hmm. He'll like Wolverine. Like, he'll so quickly. He's just like, 
Dude, it'll have like a red line, and by like the evening, it's almost uh-huh. gone. I'm like, how'd you do that? Yo, it's all those T cells, right? He's got, he's, he's got, got some, all of them, he's right? Got those stem cells. That's in exactly. Them. That's all he got. All of those stem cells. You know what you should have done? Got right? some stem cells. You should have saved uh, the uh, the umbilical cord. It was three thousand dollars. Holy shnikes! Over five years. Man, that would have been nice though. You take that and inject it in both knees. Boom. And then what? Carry him instead of buying a stroller for. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say, man. I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving whoever, you know what? If it's I had like a family. It's supposed to be for him, bro. It's supposed what? to be for you. I don't know. You're like, good enough, half me. It's mine. <laughs> yeah, I need to be healthy for me to be able to take care of this kid. I think it's for, uh, I, I don't think it's for you. I think it's for the baby, unfortunately. Dude, it's, it, it doesn't have his name on it. Okay. You know what? Do it. I hope you grow an arm or something. I'm... I want to know. I'm going to... No, I mean, like, if I was close to... If I was really, like, well off, yeah? Mm-hmm. And for every one of my cousins that have a, that get a baby... Oh, yeah. I'll be like, hey, hey, you mind, hey, you mind if I... Hey, <laughs> you mind if hey, I... let me buy your placenta. <laughs> Wait, how do you say it? Say it in French. Right? <laughs> I don't even know how to say placenta in French. Uh, plus, 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 plus inter. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I would, sounds... ta- I would I would... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd take it. Damn, that sounds... Yeah evil as shed but yeah i know you'd probably give them a fair price fair price they'd be but they weren't what are they gonna do with it yeah they, no not at all right yeah yeah I'll do, I, you know what i'll give them a little bonus as well here's right. a little something something buy yourself a crib mm. and then boom i take that and you got and then get the get that synthesized you got to pay them that hush money though what hush money it's you all got, you got know. you got to pay them and be like hey don't tell anybody yeah. because by the third cousin mm-hmm. they can be like hey Price the price has gone up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. You know, I gotta have to do a. What was it called? What's that thing? The the paper that makes you to not talk to talk. A non disclosure agreement of yeah, some an sort. NDA. An yeah. NDA. Yeah, I gotta do an NDA. Like prenuptial. What are you doing? How are you getting this placenta? Yeah, that's uh, that's what I would do. You'd be drinking placenta with your friggin' oh, I yeah, mix it with my kombucha. <laughs> yeah, you have garlic <laughs> in there. I like this placenta. You seen you're looking great. What's your? Uh... What if you'd be looking great? You know what? Have you seen Elon Musk's hair and how it used to be and how it is now? Yeah, he looks like a Backstreet Boy. That's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, you know that's a guy with great hair and doesn't even have a house to live. Have you seen his mm-hmm. house? It's a freaking trailer. It's like a yeah. little cube house. It just probably has a tunnel under it, like Dexter's laboratory. Yeah. And he has like Mimi down there, whatever. All I'm saying is this, right? <laughs> He's tr- tremendously rich, right? Yeah. They didn't pay taxes for the last like three years. Mm-hmm. I think they pay like 50 bucks or mm-hmm. something. So um, at least what you could do is like buy a place and put a little bit of money in them thing. I'm sure but he's even then he's like, you know what? No, fuck it. I'm gonna mm. f- I'm gonna I'm gonna live in a polycarbonate enclosure in Texas. <laughs> hey man. Don't get me wrong. I like him. But definitely asshole energy. Also uh... Yeah, no. Uh, I was hoping for something. I hope he'd be like, whose name is Elon anyway? <laughs> Musk. <laughs> I mean, he's a very unique name, right? Sounds so, like a bad guy from every movie. He does. Indiana uh, Jones should get him. Yeah. Oh, but isn't there a video, or like a, a thing on Netflix that's about like a t- countdown or something? I think it's something to do mm. with uh, with like eventually. Uh, I want to show you a video. Okay. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I want to show you a video just because we're talking about people who are looking good right now. I need to, you to see this video of... Uh, the 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 one and only Joey Diaz. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. Wow. He looks freaking fantastic. I must have all the filters. No. 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 He just. This is how he looks now. Wow. He's been. Hold on. He's. Yeah, how yeah. is his skin so good? He seems whiter. Motherfucker. I love the Joey. Hold on. Hold on. I'm eating good. I'm sleeping good. You know, I'm not eating any fucking garbage food. My traps. Are, listen, I had. A, I think I did the shittiest great. fucking podcast I ever did on Monday. And all you motherfuckers told me was how good I looked. I can't believe it. So thank you. If I look that good, thank you. Does it look great? It looks great. He's living in New Jersey now, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that the is that the secret? Is that what you're saying? Well, you know, sometimes change of scenery, new habits. Yeah, man. Yo, L.A. can't be good for everybody. You know? Yeah. I don't, know. I don't think L.A. could be good for anybody, man. No, I used to live down there. You lived in L.A.? Yeah, I lived in Las Vegas, actually. Okay. Nevada. Okay, yeah. To, but still but still I used come... to go to L.A. like very regularly. Okay, how when, how is this? Go... Okay, go on. 
What? No, no, I'm not upset. I'm just like really surprised. I was young. I was young. Uh, we lived in Palmdale. Okay. And uh, yeah, we used to go to Circus Circus mm -hmm. for, uh, it was like our Bamiyan. Like once a month, we or maybe sometimes twice a month, we would go to Circus Circus. I don't even know what it is. I just know it's part of Chris Rock's... Uh... Oh, it's like, a, it's a huge friggin' casino. It's like, um, a, and it's a friggin' clown. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, my parents used to love taking us there. <laughs> Into a casino. Because of all these like shows, and oh, like you know these okay, trampoline okay. shows oh, and okay, wire like shows and so, like, buffets. It's a circus with the cas with the casino. Oh yeah, the whole, and food and everything. It's like an amusement park. Ah, uh, inside for humans. Multiple for, shows, for multiple restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it had a water show of like jet skis jumping stuff in the casino. It was crazy. Really, it was by the Mirage where Siegfried and Roy used to do their thing. Yeah, all of these things. Don't know. That was like when casinos were in their heyday. Right. Yeah. So yeah, we so used to the eighties, seventies, and eighties. Right. That yeah. was when it, when and it was then we used to go to the swap meet. Which is like a, I think like a flea market. Yes. And it was just Mexicans. It'd be great. Holy crap. I heard swamp meat. Mm -hmm. I, I just, that was it. I heard swamp meat and I was like. Alligators? <laughs> <laughs> What's swamp meat? <laughs> just, uh, or you just meeting at a swamp? I don't know. No, no. But yeah, that was, that was me living in Nevada, man. Yeah. We, we did that. Uh, I didn't love it. Moved back to Pakistan. Yeah. Did that for a while and then came back to uh Houston and then just stayed there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I didn't I guess I Did didn't Did you go to Rich Houston or that was was that No, the... that was eventually. We went to Harris County, poor Houston. Mm -hmm. And then that's when my dad got robbed at gunpoint and then we went to But poor Houston was where it's at, man. That was great. You could really see what what people mean, you know, when they mean like Hey, it was rough out there. It was rough out there. It's just like it was people rough in the PJs, yo. People just fighting in the front lawn, and no one's bothered that much by it. Like they're watching. They're like, "Yeah, it's not good," but no one's stopping it. No one's calling the cops. You just hear people fighting. People wow, yelling. that's uh, that's something. I don't know if that's a healthy place to live. No, I saw like just crackheads just crossing the street every now and then, very like a zombie, like mm -hmm. zonked out to the left. Yeah. Just barely, uh, like they that guy who uh, was falling for two hours at New York. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, just, he's, he's drunk. No wonder you were so comfortable in New York. And I was like, I, I was, you know, I was. Every, everywhere we go, we're fine. But yeah. when we turned that, 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 that corner for us to get to our hotel, yeah, this, it was like a, it was a deep breath moment. The little street we lived on. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I showed it to Farah and she's like, you're in, t in front of the New York Times building? I was like, yeah. She's like. You shouldn't stay there. And I was we, like, we saw three trains. You know, like it's, it's like in in just the immediate area. You walk out, you turn right for you to get to the building. Yeah, like the the New York Times. Uh, it, you'd have to walk past multiple multiple drunk people, uh, prostitutes, mm -hmm. presumably like pimps, some transvestites, and a bunch of homeless people. Dude that was falling down for... Yeah, just leaning on that pole. How, and just he, was slowly... just, he was falling for like two hours, I felt like. <laughs> he fell for a whole movie, you know? We, just... saw, we left, we saw him falling. When we came back, he was still... He never fell, though. <laughs> he just almost fell for two. Like, oh, I'm gonna... F and just stayed in one spot. Yeah. That guy. It was remarkable. He should do a master class. Yeah, um... Yeah, you might have been just caught in uh, in the Matrix. Speaking of the Matrix, have you seen the, <laughs> the, new Matrix, the trailer of the Matrix? The trailer of the Matrix? <laughs> uh, man, the trailer should get an Oscar. It's pretty good, right? The trailer is so excited. You know amazing. what? It's not Oscar worthy. It's just that we are so starved for like nostalgia of one of the yeah. funnest, coolest movies of our generation. I got to see this immediately, like as soon as it comes out. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, have yeah, people yeah. talk. No, or no, not no. even that. I just want to hear it. I just want to watch it, make my own opinion. Exactly, exactly. I want to yeah. have people be like, it's, you know what? Yeah, nothing. I just, I'm just gonna watch it, dude. Uh, it, it, they put all the elements mm -hmm. that they knew fans liked. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like it was like a, it was like a fan service, mm -hmm. right? All you guys who like this stuff, we're gonna do it all again mm -hmm. in this movie. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's a bad thing. When people, are gonna, people are gonna like. I'm pretty sure the reviews are gonna be like, oh, it's just the same thing as the first one, except with a twist, right? In the same way, when Star Wars did their their reboot, they're like, "Oh, it's the same circular story." But yeah, but like that's your entry point. Your entry point needs to be nostalgia heavy. Don't try to do anything too crazy. Don't subvert expectations. Just 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 do it the way how we want to see it, mm -hmm. right? And then the next little ones you can ruin it the way how Star Wars ruins everything. Whatever. The young the young Morpheus. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. I that being gonna... said, kind of sad that we're not seeing Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be Michael B. Jordan or something, but I don't think he's uh 
mysterious enough. You know what? He isn't mysterious enough, that guy. He isn't mysterious. He could you know, be way more mysterious. Here's the thing. Love Michael B. Jordan, mm-hmm. right? I thought he was fantastic in that in, in The Wire, and he was a child in that. He was amazing, mm-hmm. right? Um, and it, it was a tough role in, in The Wire. Mm-hmm. But I watched um, Without Remorse. Mm. Did you watch it? No. Okay. <laughs> So I watched Without Remorse, which is a Tom Clancy, like part of the Trump, oh, Tom I did. Clancy family. I actually did watch that movie. All right. So here's the thing. Right? I don't understand. Mm-hmm. He is in the, he is in, in the, in his jail cell. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, some dudes are going to run in, run up on him. Right. And he takes his shirt off. Yeah. Puts it in the sink. Yep. Makes it slippery. Turns, makes <laughs> makes the floor slippery, then makes himself slippery. <laughs> yeah. By rubbing water on himself. Yeah. Which is not that slippery. I was thinking that. I was <laughs> like, man, how slippery is this water? <laughs> yeah. If anything, it dries out your skin and makes you allowed to like grab onto someone a little bit more. Okay. But that was like, that was, you know what that was? That was gratuitous naked uh, nakedness that we didn't need. If you work out that much, bro, you just need a reason. Any reason. That was a Salman Khan situation because they couldn't even do it organically. It yeah. looked like they were doing it just to show off his tremendous six pack. It's probably in his contract. Right. He's like one, one showing. Yeah. I need to. But like they could have done it earlier when he was like hanging out with his wife or whatever. He could have just been in pajama pants and shirtless. Boom. It did it. But like True. now, it, you gotta be oiled up too. I had to <laughs> you gotta think be oiled about it. up too. I had to think about like, is this an actual thing? And that's what I'm like. I don't think this is an actual thing. Otherwise, I'd be down. If he had some oil, yeah, then there you go. Right? Maybe he he like breaks a, a lantern. I thought he would break the light or something, but I guess that's probably yeah. But there's no oil in there's no oil no. in these modern lights. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Yeah. Just take it off your shirt. We know what's happening. I don't fault that guy for having a middle initial. You have to have a middle initial if you're Michael. Yeah, you can't Jordan. just be Michael Jordan. Yeah, that's taken. Forever. Yeah. Just like Schumacher. That being said, there's not many Schumachers out there. No, they are not. <laughs> or Denzel's. Uh, yeah, what does is, what is his, his, uh, his son call himself? DNZ. I don't know. Baby Denzel? Little Denzel? Damn, that would be funny. Denzel Jr. He's, go- he's a good actor. He's oh, really? Actor. Oh, he's fantastic, dude. Mm. He was in a movie. As good as Tom Hanks son? Uh, he's, <laughs> oh, no. No one can do uh, a Jamaican accent the way how Tom Hanks son That's does That's his it. other son. Oh, there's another one. One of his sons is a legitimate, oh, legitimate actor. Very right? good actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Something Hank. Yeah. Little you know, Hank. He's good. He's good. <laughs> Yeah, we suck at these names. Fuck <laughs> time Tom Hanks' son, man. Whatever. <laughs> he doesn't need any of my attention. <laughs> uh, the, the, the Denzel's son was in a show called Ballers, which is mm. freaking fantastic. Mm-hmm. You should watch it. I think you have uh, the facilities for that. Thank um, you. <laughs> I'm smart enough to keep up. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. I mean it's to say, like you, like I think you need uh, HBO, but you have Crave. I, that's what I meant. To I say. could figure it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I knew what you meant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that was, that, I wouldn't in, in, insult you like that. Um, remember how I was complaining about Rick and Morty? Yes. Uh, they pulled up. They pulled up. Yeah, nice. it's so good. Really? The last like three episodes is freaking fantastic. They actually give us a little something, something. Do you watch it with your lady ever? No. Yeah, interesting. I think it's too gross. Yeah, I know what you mean. There's too many. I mean, obviously the burping and the and and like the the spit and the drool, mm-hmm. which doesn't happen too much in the newest uh, mm-hmm. season. But there's a lot of like boobs and like just dicks on faces. Say word. And um and and like <laughs> you know the, even the insects and whatnot, they have like they have like boobs coming out of their chest. I've it's seen like that. Yeah. it's just it's it's madness. It's, it's madness, right? And I'm gonna watch me, it with my son. Yeah, yeah, I think that will that will be good. Yeah. I'm off for two weeks. Hey, starting man. Starting today. Congratulations. Dude. Mm, paternity leave. Paternity leave. And then November, Mexico. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My parents. Okay. All right. How many how many people in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my, my lord. God. That's a lot of people. It's all the Razas. Yeah. That's pretty nice, man. You go all out say in the it's. I'll say it's. Right? No, yeah. no, uh, no, no Fatimas. No, no, we're taking my wife and my sister in law. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. But like, mostly. Yeah, I mean, all the men. <laughs> I want to tell you. How are the <laughs> women going to be Sayyids? Uh, but my brother in law is a Sayyid. I didn't even no, know. No, you we... said Razas, didn't you? Yeah, no, I said Sayyids. Oh, you said. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I hear what I want to hear. You hear what you want to hear. Mm. I, my, fir- uh, my wife wanted to, uh, if we had a daughter, she was like, you know, her last name, mm-hmm. uh, can we make it Fatima? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I think so. 
because uh, in her family, all the girls are Fatima for some reason. They pass on the Fatima name. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Pretty intense. Like it's her sister's last name, her sister's daughter's fat last name. It doesn't matter what, matter what your dad's name is. I don't right? know what the, uh, what the Islamic ruling is on that. Probably not good. <laughs> probably. You have no idea. Probably. Did you ask, did you ask the husband? <laughs> No, I think it's some sort of lineage so that you kind of make... It's like a, there's, there's rulings to avoid incest, but I don't think that's a problem for you. No, I don't um, think that's a problem, man. <laughs> I'm kind of mad you even brought that up. <laughs> right, they're just keeping bloodlines a little separate. All right, uh, dude. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. 2021. Oh, I'm saying that. And the reason why we made it this far was, uh, the, you know, the, the official naming conventions of the, uh, the Muslims. Exactly. 100% that what that means. Oh, man. What are you doing on Thursday? Want to come do a show? Uh, what do you got? Where do you go? Where do you Comedy go? bar, main room, seven minutes. Oh, seven solid minutes. Seven solid minutes. I'm recording this one, so it'll be just, you know, it'll be, it should be tight. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, if I can make it on Thursday, I can be, what time? It's probably eight or nine. That's actually better for me. Mm, comedy bar. Yeah. It's back on. Almost sold out. Yeah, well, you know, things are opening up and whatnot. And uh, and uh, did you see that video of Chris Guy? No. Uh, he shows up at a at a at a gym, mm. and he's uh, of course he's not wearing a mask and mm-hmm. you know whatever it is that that buck tooth dude does. And then he's like, "And the revolution starts here." And then he said, "Let's go work out." <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I think you're missing some gravitas here. Like. Hey man, that guy knows what he's what he loves. Oh, he knows what he loves. Yeah. Cocaine. Cocaine. I'm working out. Dude, I gotta try cocaine once. All right, we're back on the cocaine thing. Yeah. All right. Tell me why you're still thinking about it. What do you th- what do you hoping? I gotta know what it feels like. Mm. That's all. That's yeah. literally it. I don't even I don't have this with most things, but it, cocaine, you know, you, I can't imagine it. Fair enough. I can't lose my co host, all right. You think I'm you're gonna I'm gonna get lost to cocaine? I've seen some people get lost. But there's the crack epidemic. It could happen. Right. You know. I like a lot of other things, though. So that's why I don't, I'm not worried about it. But if cocaine is sure better than those things yeah, or goes problem. What or if it, pairs well. Yeah. What if it's just exactly what, yeah, like your kryptonite. Yeah. It's what if, it's like, I feel like the real me on cocaine. Because what if I'm like cocaine Sayed? I, I don't think there's a real you that's opening up to a drug. I think, uh, I think. Uh, over years, I kind of know what your real you is. Mm, what if? What if? What I if? just think it's, you know, it might hit you the, the wrong way or like the supremely right way. And then you're oh, like, you know man. what? What are we even doing? Who needs teeth? Nothing. Yeah. Right? Just give me that crack cocaine. Mm. Right? Then I'm just going to buy you spoons. What if I microdose? Just microdose those leaves. I just chew coca leaves. And I I'm very productive. Fine. I think that's fine. No teeth after isn't that, a while. But... Isn't, oh, really? It takes away I your teeth? Know. I, I think it's think fine. So. It's just a leaf. It's just a leaf, man. Otherwise, we'd just be like, uh, like a bunch of animals with no teeth. In, if in if like you can't Columbia. handle leaf, then you know you don't deserve teeth. If you, <laughs> you don't deserve it for the propagate. You can't handle yours. teeth, like leaf. Come on, yeah, get out of my face. Is that a thing? You can just chew leaves. Yeah, coca leaves, and it'll give you a buzz. It'll give you a buzz. That's yeah, that's a thing. There's also uh, a leaf called cot. You can do that with. No, uh, wait, no, cot is that's an Indian thing. No, right? wait, never mind. That's a Somali thing. Never mind. Never oh, cot is Somali. That is Somali. What is that? Does it, got, does it have gunpowder in it? Can you check? Yeah, I gotta check it. I think it's K A T. Right, I'm down. I'm on it. Yeah. Somalia. Do 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 do. I love finding out other people's drugs. K H A T. Cot. Cot. It's Klingon. Mm. Um. All right, hold on a second. Let's pull this up on uh, Wikipedia. That's accurate. All right. It's also called uh, Jimma. Oh, I like that too. Which is Somali. Or no, in Somali, in Somali, it's called Qad. 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 Can you spell it? Q-A-A-D. I'm throwing in a Qad. 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 Uh, and then in Arabic, it was call, it's called Al Qad. Okay. That... All right, we got to stop this. Let's just Can go on. Can you tell me what it is? is. <laughs> Can you tell me stop? <laughs> is a flowering plant a plant uh, native to East, uh, whatever, 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 contains uh, an alkaloid, cath. Thin known a stimulant which is said to be amongst uh very exciting loss of appetite which which can cause excitement loss of appetite and euphoria it's very exciting right. uh, among the communities in the areas of the plant is native cot brewing has a histor uh, his 
as a history, as a social custom dating back a thousand years, uh, analogous to the use of coca leaves in South America. Okay, or also known as the betel nut in Asia. So Dang. it's all kind of like in the same thing. It's uh, classified uh, as a drug abuse that can uh, in, uh, produce a psychedelic, psychological dependence. There we go. Although the who does not consider cut addiction to be a serious problem. So apparently, okay. is it not a then serious problem? Then why are problem? we not doing this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what apparently, I'm saying. Maybe it's, it's not stimulant. serious because it's in that, in Somalia and like, wow. they don't care about Somalis. Right. Right. That's, right. That's are what you saying? Yeah, you're probably right about that. Yeah, I, I, I think I am saying. The who? Yeah, I don't think they care about. Uh, we should try some cut. <laughs> Next podcast, our sponsor. Wait, isn't there another cut. thing that was a that that we could have tried that was technically uh, okay? There was another one. Um, not salvia. Ket- not ketamine. It was another one that people were salvia. No, it wasn't salvia. It was a. It was a. It was a. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it matters so much to me right now. But okay, wait, hold on a second. Uh, let me see. Uh, Ili Green. I'm going to talk to you guys about microphones. Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. Who invented that? So it's not ketamine. No. That's definitely not correct. But there's another drug. There's another drug that people were using. You could buy it, and they would just like blend it and put it into a capsule. Um, and it, it, it was kind of like a focus. I think it's a focus drug. Like methamphetamines or Adderall? Yes, but Man. like very low end. Maybe that's what I should do on my pat leave. Uh, I think you should try. Yeah, I think you should try um, I- I- that one. Adderall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just see how that uh, that one goes. Gonna do it next week, guys. Adderall, say it. Yeah. It's Man, like, can you imagine? You're just like, you know, come back. My balls are smooth as smooth, <laughs> smooth as, as eggs. eggs. Uh, smart drugs and cognitive enhancers. You know what? I'm gonna have to go find it. I know uh, kratom. Like, oh yeah, kratom. Sorry. Hey man, yeah. you out here killing it, yep. dude. I know. My- Holy <laughs> shnikes, that's super impressive. What is kratom? Let's find out. It's a plant from like the Philippines area. And, okay, in Indonesia, okay. and uh, they have three different versions. Yeah. You yeah. know what? I can just put this down. I'm no, no, that's that's fine. That's as much as I know. You can get it in Canada pretty easily in Chinatown. Right. Here we go. It's a tropical evergreen tree uh, from the coffee family. Mm-hmm. Um, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, yeah. Myanmar, Papua New Guinea. Um, it's a herbal medicine since the 19th century. Kratom has opi- opioid uh, properties and some stimulant-like effects. Oh, man. Yep. Can we get some Kratom? Yeah, you can. Very uh, easily. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could do this by Saturday, bro. <laughs> we can get Kratom. Uh, there's no evidence that kratom is safe or effective for treating any condition. Haha, that's what they all that's what they say about everything. Yeah, they just don't want us to win. They don't want us to try kratom. Right. It's probably fun. Uh they 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 hate us because they ain't us. Mm. <laughs> well, we got to get kratom, so Uh some people take uh, for managing chronic pain and uh for creating opioid withdrawal symptoms because it's like opiate so you can use it to wean yourself off of opiates uh, okay uh for recreational purposes and onset of uh, effects typically within five to ten minutes and lasts for two to five hours that's not bad that's just a good evening increase alertness uh, uh physical energy talkativeness don't need help there sociability uh sedation uh, changes in mood and pain relief uh following kratom use all in good things doses. yeah common side effects include uh appetite loss er- erectile dysfunction hair loss and constipation Dude, what do you got to worry about? You're, you're, you shave your head and your legs are smooth as eggs. And constipation, you're taking all those athletic greens. You'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, dude, it actually d- does get the... I believe you. does get the stuff moving. Okay. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I know. That's, it. That's important, man. When you, when you... Dude, you don't understand the importance of a good... Uh, of a good uh, are you telling me I don't understand? No, not you, generically speaking. Okay. Yeah, of course, I know you understand it like crazy. Thank you. Um, I do understand it. But like, you know, you, you, get, you, have, pro- you have like BM move, uh, like, uh, problems for a week, mm. and then all of a sudden, you're good to go. Man, you'll never, you'll never not appreciate a good one. Dang, man. Yeah. I love everything that you just said. Yeah, it's important. It's super important. Um, so, uh, wait, where are we at right now? Yeah, we're good here. You watch Ted Lasso? No, but now I have to. Okay. Why do you have to now? 
It's just oh, too it's many. because my best friend. Told oh me to watch it. no, I know a long time ago when it was when it wasn't even cool yet, dude. That's how I do, bro. I know hmm. when it was just like a just a like a penny stock. Yeah, you're like, have you heard of Ted Lasso? I'm like, is that a Lasso company? I'm yeah. Like, you know, and you had to. You showed me a trailer. Mm-hmm. You invested. I did. I yep. Did. I'm on Pat Lee for two weeks. Yeah, watch that shit, man. I'll try. Yo, don't try. There is no try. There's only do. I, I watched some other random movies that you recommended. Yeah, thank you. No, no, no. I'm not saying that you haven't pulled through. Random. Eventually. <laughs> Ted Lasso. I'm watching it. I hear it's good. Dude, it's on. It's on ITV. ITV. No, it's all Apple TV. I don't I'll, know what I'll ITV is. I'm not gonna get it from the legitimate sources. I got I'm assuming. I'm assuming your wife has Apple TV. No, we don't. She could just give him a call and they'd be like, "All right, they'll give no, it to no. you." No, we got Disney, we got the Netflix, mm-hmm. and we got Crave. Okay, and that's. So when I got when I, when I got married, mm-hmm. um, one of the one of the coolest benefits was uh, was that I also inherited. Subscriptions, subscriptions, man. <laughs> like the two, the two older brothers. Like my wife's two, two older brothers. They each have like some. Yeah, dude, we're guests on a bunch of them. Nice. Now. Yeah. The only thing that they we're can't miss- say no to you. No, they can't. But I'm like, I don't have i uh, Apple TV yet. I have everything else. Mm. I have like HBO, Crave, you name it. I got it. Nice. It's just in Disney, but I just don't have Apple, and I'm a little hesitant to, to be like, hey, yeah, uh, man. There's so much stuff on all of those things. Yeah, Disney's actually like. It's, you Disney's start great. digging, you're like, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. They have The Rock. Not The Rock, the Johnson, but like the oh, actual movie. The, Con the Air, Rock. The, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The Nicolas Cage. Art, the good Nicolas Cage movies. Yeah. Yeah. Sean Connery was still like spry then. Oh, he was great. I think he's dead now, right? Oh, he definitely so is definitely dead, yeah. spry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's great. That's You know what? I'm going to go watch that movie. Yeah. On, on Disney, no on less. Disney. Uh, also, the, uh, the movie that I just watched recently on Disney was um, The Martian. That's a great movie. That's repeat yeah, that's replayability. Yeah, hundred percent. Really, I'll yeah. check that. I, I just saw a uh, a documentary on a dude who has twenty split personalities, Billy Maligan or something, on Netflix. Oh my god! I thought you were just talking about the movie Split by M Night no. Shyamalan. Yo, so far as like watching, she's like explaining the what she's watching. I'm like, so this is the Split movie. <laughs> And she's watching and explaining more. She's like, like this is Primal Fear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just throwing movies. <laughs> she's like, I don't know either one of those movies. <laughs> but yeah, this guy uh, killed a bunch of people and raped a bunch of wow. people and switched from... He had one uh, one character in him that was Serbo-Yugoslavian. Mm-hmm. So he would have an accent. Mm-hmm. Like he's from Ohio, right? And all, all of a right. sudden he would have an accent. He's like, I don't know why you talk this. <laughs> you know, like he's, wow. And then he would have like a woman. He's like... Well, love is such an important thing. And he's like, I'm like, but then he's murdered all these people. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's done a lot. 20 folks. Why? Right. Master manipulator. He would convince people to let him out. He got out over and over. He would get married sometimes. Like women would still go out with him. It's, it's a mystery how some people are so good at manipulating people. Dude. He's like in his, you know, the, the documentary is like four hours long. He's like young and they're like, he's famous for being a crazy person and killing people. He gets out, he's like middle age and like his girlfriend's like, they interview her and she's like, at one point he turned violent. I'm like, how are you his girlfriend? The f- After he has all this history, it's well documented. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone and knows. He didn't even change his name. Dude, he got almost married while in prison mm. to a good looking lady. That's amazing. She's like, you know, there's a lot of rumors about him. It's <laughs> <Just> like. <laughs> all right, last, last. Now yeah. that I know that you got two weeks. Yeah. I need to tell you about this show that I watch on Netflix. Mm. It's a documentary series. It blew my freaking mind, Mm -hmm. okay? How good is this documentary, okay? That I couldn't stop watching it, and then we had, like, my honeymoon came up, Mm -hmm. and any point that I had an opportunity for me to watch Netflix during my honeymoon, it's like, I'm going to wash my face, put on the headphones, right? Shave, put on the headphones, watch this thing. Mm. This documentary is called Wild Wild Country, Mm. okay? Now, I know for a fact your Netflix has tried to recommend this to you. It put I it in, so. It put it in front of you a couple of times. Maybe. Over the course of like, maybe the, it was hot like two years ago, I think, or whatever. And then now it's like, it gave up on you. But I'm not giving up on you, damn it, brother. All right, man, calm down. Um, wild, wild country. All right. It's, a, it's, it's, it's about, it's about a, a guy, okay? Yeah. Uh, also, one could say master manipulator. Yeah. Right? Uh, starts a... Uh, Starts what can only be understood as a cult, yeah, in India. Oh, but he he, uh, he doesn't stay there. He comes to the United States. I saw this documentary. You saw the entire series. Did he have 
This brown lady that was assistant oh, and very yes. capable. Yes. Oh, yes. Dude. Sheila. Yeah, powerful. Huh. Dude, great documentary. Dude. I love the place they moved to in America. They made it into an oasis. And there's these normal Americans, and they're like, well, these folks came in, and they just started dressing funny, and really changed your town a little bit. I didn't like it. Well, it was even more than that. There was, like, sex orgies and stuff like that, and they're like, oh, I don't like, uh, I don't like hearing, hearing their goings on through the, through the wall. They changed. They they renamed streets. They uh they they had their own currency. They had their own stores. They 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 f- made the lane land fertile so that they could plant stuff. They had an airport. They had Sheila, dude. She made a lot of that happen. She did. But then you know, like then it all turns. She thought she was doing it for God. Uh yeah. And then eventually it got a little too crazy. It got crazy. But you got to watch it. Freaking amazing. Wild wild country. Yeah. Solid nine out of ten. Solid. He didn't even rank, ranked it, guys. Yeah. Nine out of ten. That's what it is. Passing grade. People, this has been episode three hundred six. Thank you for hanging with us. Well, <laughs> what did I say? Thank you for hanging with us. <laughs> did I get drunk for a moment? Yeah, I like it. It's Jeez. Just... Thanks for hanging with us. We'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Go. No.